Kaylin, here in Borneo. Come along as we try to find the elusive proboscis monkey. This is my trusted sidekick, Bruni, guiding me safely through Borneo. These are the mangrove trees the proboscis monkeys live in. There are no leaves here, so the proboscis monkeys must have eaten all of them. Wow, what a feast. Look, there's one now. I have to be extra quiet, though, because proboscis monkeys don't like to be around humans. But just look at that nose. It's huge. The females have large noses, but the males' noses are extra jumbo. That's actually why they're called proboscis monkeys, because proboscis means nose. Now, I'm going to try to sneak out so I can find a couple more. Whoa, there's a whole bunch of them up there. You can notice the colors on these proboscis monkeys. On their back and head is a reddish brownish color. On their tail, buttocks, and stomach is a creamy color. And on their legs, feet, hands, and arms are a stretch of gray. This is the proboscis monkey sounds it makes. It's really amazing. They sound like they're screeching. This is the reason for the proboscis monkey's pot-like bellies. They have a huge digestive system with many chambers and lots of bacteria. They have to digest these tough leaves, which is their main food. Let's continue on. Behind me is one of the rivers the proboscis monkeys jump all the way across to find rich and tender leaves. But they have to be very careful because in those waters lies the proboscis monkey's main predator, the crocodile. <sighs> Behind me is some evidence of humans encroaching on the proboscis monkey's habitat. What a shame. In these canopies behind me, I hope there's more young proboscis monkeys to populate the world. That's all from Borneo. Bye! Send your postcard.